Well, hello, all friends and family and everyone. I hope you all are doing good. It's a beautiful night. See, it's a beautiful sky. It's evening now. Um, everything's okay here. Uh, today was a good day. See, just showing you some of the sky. Like today was a very, very nice, um, uh, sunny day. It was our last day. It's very cold now. It was very cold the other day and night. See, it's very, it's very, very nice sky. It's evening now. It's, just enjoying the sky, some of the fresh air. Uh, Mom's back to work. She had to wait for some papers because I guess when you sneeze, whatever, you have to take this uh, test to make sure you're not tested, you know, what you don't have it. She was negative, so thank goodness, thank goodness see the beautiful sky. It's very, very nice. Evening, it's cold, but it's evening, it's still evening out here. So, yeah, everything's okay here. I hope everybody had a nice day. I hope your morning was well. I had a good morning day, but I've been very slow in the mornings because of trying to readjust because of the clock's changing back so much. Not used to it. Just enjoying this little empty, you know, empty area. Well, it's a field pretty much. But it's very, very nice. It's nice sky to enjoy. Um, I hope you're doing well, Emmy. I miss you very much. I do hope you're doing well. I'm always praying for your family. I hope your daughter and son are safe in the Philippines the best they can because of the weather and typhoons. Not good. I was watching the news and listening. Not good. I just hope you're doing well. Have a safe day off. Have a wonderful day off. Take it easy. I hope you have a nice breath this morning soon. I miss you very much. I think about you all the time. I do hope you're okay and well. See, it's very, very nice night. It's nice evening. Just getting some fresh air. Yeah, so, um, and I hope all friends, Filipino friends, and all my family, I hope you're safe and sound. And to all the, everybody in the Philippines, been praying a lot for all of you. Been praying, praying a lot, lot. Been praying a lot for you. Just been praying so much. That's sad. What's going on out there? Everybody's homes are destroyed or damaged. People lost families. People lost their lives. It's not good. Not good at all, God. Uh, not good at all. Not good. Yeah. So this enjoy. Been praying a lot. Been putting out candles before I sleep. Uh, there's things like that. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Not good. Yeah, but it's I'm just enjoying this sky. This nice evening. Just enjoying a little walk because I need some fresh air. I haven't had a walk the last few days. Just been enjoying some fresh air, that's all. Yeah, I do get worried about the future. It's getting very crazy out there. Because since he's he's gone off the wall since he lost the vote, whatever he lost, voting very soon. He's, in, he's going crazy. He's doing everything he can. This is damage. Everything in sight. Destroy a lot. He's just doing everything he can before he gets out of efforts, whatever, how many more days of he has left of being the president he's done a lot of damage doing a lot of damage oh uh, yeah so it's a nice sky it's nice out it's nice breezy it's very very nice it's be very beautiful just enjoy it's peaceful once in a while i come out here just look at the sky at yeah, evening night fall it's very peaceful this used to be all open used to be all open but with the uh, rains and floods when I was younger nature took over but it's still a field people still you just play in it play out here if it's safe but that used to be a baseball field over there but it's all covered with grass it's nobody uses it for baseball anymore it used to be a wide open baseball this used to be all open it's very sad what happened out here we used to, uh, there used to be a creek where we catch toads and frogs and something else. 
This used to be a baseball field somewhere over here, wide open, wide open. You could sit out at night and enjoy fresh air. But with all the rain and everything, Mother Nature took over it. It's really sad. It really is. It really Because people used to cut through here for, to go home or go to school. That's what I used to do when I was younger. Cut through. I used to cut through here to get home and go to school. Because my school wasn't that far. And I always walked to school. Even in 6th grade and middle school, I always walked to school. Because I enjoyed the fresh air. enjoyed the walk. But I hope everybody had a nice Thursday. Still Thursday here, guys. Still Thursday. Uh, still Thursday here, guys. Yeah, it's still Thursday here. Uh, yeah, it used to be all wide open, guys. All this used to be wide open. Uh, just can't, I'm just a little worried about the future, that's all. I'm worried about, are we don't allowed to be traveling next year? Are we allowed to do this? Can we get back to some normal life or activities next year? Or next summer? Just a little worried about the future a little bit. Because the decision making right now has been very poor. And this country is just getting worse and worse and worse. Sorry, I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm being serious about that. But it's very, very nice. It just, it's nice to enjoy the sky. The nightfall. I hope everybody has a safe weekend. Have a safe week, uh, Friday. Uh, enjoy your upcoming holidays the best you can. Uh, for Thanksgiving and Christmas, I'm not, we're, we're just going to stay at home. Because most of the all the activities we wanted to do for Thanksgiving and thanks Christmas have been canceled until further notice. What's the hardest thing for this year? Not having a Santa Claus in the mall for the kids. Because you can't go up close to them. Even with a mask, that's not safe. That's it. We'll see. I'm not sure. But I think last time I read something, I thought it was... I thought it was canceled. I could be wrong. But that would be really tough on the kids. Because they always enjoy that every Christmas. Seeing Santa Claus at the mall. And see, enjoying the Christmas decorations and any activity they have. Like the Christmas stores, that's going to be tough. Like Thanksgiving, that's going to be tough because we can't see any family up close. Uh, it's been pretty hard this year. It's been very difficult for everyone. And with our president being a cuckoo and what he's up to lately, it's just like... And he could stop... I don't mean this in any way, I... It's not, this is, this in general. He could stop blaming every other culture who's been in this country for a long time, who has been good people. He could stop doing that. He could stop making U.S. citizen and other Americans hate other cultures. Slamming the Philippines, any culture, Chinese, any culture. The ones who've been here for a long time who don't, who had nothing to do with what's going on. Yeah. It's just, I just can't believe how much people could get, believe it in him and get brainwashed and actually believe it. I don't understand it because it's not true. Half of the stuff he said he's going to do for anyone in this country, I didn't buy into it because I don't like him. Because if you look at his true history since he's grown up, he's gotten away with everything. A lot. I mean, he should be serving some jail time behind bars a little be honest yeah so th i just enjoy this i just enjoy this wide open air just enjoying some fresh air because i just need some air just been worried lately about family worried about you emmy I miss you very much emmy Australia. i hope you're doing well and i always wish you good health and everything i do miss you a lot i always hope you're okay and safe and sound yeah, so this is what I enjoy. Yeah, like I said, this used to be all wide open, guys. Uh, like I said, Mother Nature took over. Yeah, all of it used to be wide open. I just come out here once in a while to enjoy the sun in the middle of the day. Get some fresh air because it feels good. It's wide open, so the air feels good. Well... And uh, New England place is Sunday. We're three and five. We're back in the thick of things. 
long as we continue to win, I don't care about the division. Just get in the playoffs. Just go from there. Because I do think Buffalo's going to lose a few more games. Miami's not the... I don't care. I'm not buying Miami. I'm not buying Buffalo. They're both... Buffalo's 7-2 record. They played very, very horrible. They barely... They only won half of their games because bad calls by the refs. And they're just bad. And Miami's just getting straight up luck. Tua is a good quarterback, but... He hasn't looked that good. So I'm not buying neither. I don't think neither. Both of them have been helped a lot. Put it that way by the refs. And I'm not buying Kansas City neither. The best team in football right now, if you ask me, New Orleans Saints. That defense is loaded. That offense is loaded. They're healthy. Sanders, Michael Thomas, Jared Cook, everybody is back. The running game is dangerous. With uh, J Jason Tittum, uh, number seven, they have another weapon with Drew Brees back. With all the pieces put, it, uh, the Saints are the team to beat. That team is the team to beat. They're balanced. That team is loaded on both sides of the ball. And with Kamara, with the running back they have, both of the running backs loaded. And then and they have the other receiver, Smith, number ten. So if you ask me, the Saints are the team to beat. I said that uh, me and Dad, uh, me and Dad said that at the beginning, at the beginning before everything happened, before even before the season started. Even before the season started. Saints are the team to beat. That's a good team. And they're... They played very good. They are the team to beat. I just don't see anybody beat them in the AFC. I think this is the Saints here. They break through. Drew Brees gets his second Super Bowl of his career. They're the team to beat in the NFC. Because the problem is, Green Bay's good, but their defense could get lit, and they don't have enough weapons. I'm not buying into Tampa Bay. It's not It's not because of Tom Brady. It's just his receiving quarters. It's horrible, and they don't have a run game. They're tied in the suspect. Everybody, yes, I know Tampa has a, in the top nine, five, but their defense, I'm not buying either. Their defense, when they face the real offense, it, it gets destroyed. And Aries, and what's his name off their defense coordinator, and Brian Leftwich, they're horrible at their positions as a head coach. So I'm not buying, it's not Tom Brady's fault, it's just, it's just, I'm not, I'm not sold on Tampa yet. The only team who could challenge is Seattle, but their defense is horrible. That's a bad defense. That defense is really bad. And we're not even going to stress the Dallas division. They're not even going to go that far in the first round. <laughs> oh my goodness. Otherwise, Saints are the team to beat, to be honest. Well, take care, everyone. Be positive. Keep strong. I just had to take a walk because I need some fresh air. Take care, everyone. Uh, for dinner tonight, applesauce, bar... Uh, breaded pork chops, and some vegetables. That's what's for dinner tonight. Well, take care, everyone. Keep positive. Keep strong. I do miss you all. I hope you are doing well. And Tammy, Australia, you take good care of you, too. Have a healthy day off. Miss you very much with a big heart.